Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Monday, January 27th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 20th, uh, I'm sorry, the 27th of January, that doesn't mean it only has to resonate on that day or at that time. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading, then that is a message for you at that time even if it doesn't necessarily quite make sense like and when i when i say that i mean if for some reason you're guided to watch the reading but the, the message doesn't quite stick or doesn't quite make sense it'll most likely like chances are it's probably going to resonate later on and you'll probably get it later okay but anyway take it as it resonates also speaking of which this is a general reading yeah so take what resonates and leave what doesn't don't try to fit it if it doesn't fit already okay or naturally i hope you guys had a really great weekend i know i had a fantastic weekend um and uh if you didn't get a chance to check them out uh i released a number of readings over the weekend saturday was the connecting with your inner masculine and inner fem feminine readings sunday was a twin flame mirror reading and i'm really happy with all of the readings especially since you guys enjoyed them and received them so well um you enjoyed them so much and all that. So thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you, guys. I I posted it on the community tab, but I love you guys. I'm so happy that I get to, you know, do this, do this work. It really is quite wonderful. <laughs> okay, so let's get into the energies. What do I have for us? To, what do we have for us today? So the card that came out is, in fact, the Emperor. All right. Overall energy, we have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords with the Hierophant on the other side of the deck. And what's beneath the Nine of Swords is none other than the Empress. All right. Now, with the Emperor and the Empress, both have their backs turned. So neither one of them are really facing each other right now. I, I'm getting an energy. I'm feeling an energy of like, hold on. I want to adjust my light here so there's not so much glare on the card. Um, oh, well, that's... Well, there's just gonna have to be glare there guys i'm sorry but you can't really see it that's the problem but anyway so um it's not you in terms of you know if we're talking about divine counterparts okay fine so you two probably aren't really facing each other right now or really even speaking to each other right now i feel like something is building something is coming um but you two are kind of very much in your own corners or in your own spaces, handling your own business. Now, there is some sort of fear or anxiety standing in between the two of you, okay? And I feel like both of you may be feeling this right now. Um, but the one thing that I want to say, now this also could be, if we're not talking about divine counterparts, this definitely could be talking about the balance of masculine and feminine energy within you, okay? I do feel it very strongly that with these two energies coming into balance, there is some sort of sense of wanting to take some sort of, I, I'm just feeling some, wanting to take some sort of movement, movement or make some sort of action take some sort of action, make some sort of move, something like that. And and it's coming from a really balanced place. Um, however, there are some fears and anxieties that are probably getting in the way right now. They might be stopping you. I don't necessarily want to say that they're stopping you. I just feel like they're a little bit of a hindrance at the moment. And then you have this figure here, you know, in the Nine of Swords that's kind of standing there off into the shadows totally creepy again i kind of feel like like i've said in the past i feel like that's like you know kind of a little bit of a devilish energy trying to knock you down trying to stop you in your tracks but it's not it's really not um going to work so well i really don't feel like anything's really going to stop you here okay so uh, yeah spirit just said it's a minor inconvenience Okay, now with the Hierophant that's right here, it's like you've gotten, I'm hearing you've gotten past the veils of illusion, okay, and this is probably, this feels brand new, to be quite honest. Not to say that you're, that, that you're really new to this journey, although some of you may very well be, but even for those of you that are, have, that have been on this journey for some time, that are fairly seasoned on this journey, 
And I'm not necessarily just speaking about the twin flame journey or anything. I'm just speaking of like this path of enlightenment and ascension and expansion and awakening and all that. Even if you're fairly seasoned, right? You've been doing this for some time. It seems there's a new level of consciousness, a new level of awareness that has been breached here. Um, and so with that is is coming new challenges, new opportunities, okay? New opportunities and challenges that require the balanced use of your divine masculine and divine, divine masculine and divine feminine energies within you, okay? Now, just because you are working with these energies doesn't mean you're not going to face or you're not gonna feel some sort of fear at some point, some sort of apprehension, some sort of anxiety, whatnot, whatever, but Ultimately, Spirit is saying, ultimately, it is just a test to see how you handle it, okay? You can think of it that way, a little bit of a challenge, but also the fears are an illusion, okay? They're an illusion. All right, cool. I'm going to leave it right there. And then, um, and let's see, let's see what else comes out for us today. Let me give this one more shuffle. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, geez. The Ten of Pentacles, the Lovers, the King of Wands. Oh, man. <laughs> something's coming. Something's coming to completion. Something's coming to completion. Something's coming together. Someone's coming into their own power. Uh, okay, cool. Let's see what else my other messages we have for today. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our Monday, January 27th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys. So they're saying five shuffles. So buckle up. Here we go. One for the collective. January 27th, 2020, Monday. What messages do you have for us today? Two. Three. Last one for our Monday, January 27th, 2020. That was five. Here we go, guys. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. Monday, January 27th. What would you, what, what would you like to discuss with us today, Spirit? For the collective here. One more shuffle, they say. Okay. We will do that. One more. Here we go. Monday, January 27th. For the collective here. All right, kids. Let's talk. Overall energy, we have the Five of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Wow, this is some troubling energy. We have the Five of Pentacles here. And then we have the Seven of Swords on the other side of the deck. Oh no, guys, what's happening? What's happening? We have the King of Wands, which is in reverse now. The Five of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Four of Swords. What the actual F happened? <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. So the first thing I'm getting here with this King of Wands energy is there is a... Wow. Okay. This may not be as bad as I thought. 
The first thing I wanted to say with the King of Wands is that this was a lack of confidence. But as soon as I went to say that, my intuition hit and was like, no, this is something different. There is an energy of releasing the ego here. That's what I felt the first time I saw it. But now that I'm reading more into it, it could be very could very well be the fact that someone is holding on to their ego or is, is stay, sitting firm in their ego. The thing that's make I mean, this is a general reading, guys, so take it as it resonates. But there is either someone here is letting go of their ego um, and... Uh, I'm hearing releasing past circumstances, releasing past ways of being, maybe. Um, or it could be that someone is sitting here stuck and rooted in some sort of egoic mindset, egoic point of view, maybe really super selfish. Now, that that is what logically this could say with the King of Wands in reverse and the Four of Pentacles upright. The Four of Pentacles is upright. However, with the other cards that are on the table here, I f it, it, what this really feels like is someone really could be releasing some sorts of, some sense of egoic point of view or like, like extreme selfishness or something like that. Because you have the Five of Swords with the Five of Cups and the Four of Swords, all right? And it's the side of the Five of Swords where someone is walking away from battle. I'm going to be honest with you. What this really feels like right now, this feels like a lot of past energy, especially the King of Wands in reverse and the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. It feels like there was some sort of battle here and someone walked away and there was heartbreak that ensued because of that. But there is, a, there is a lot of growth that has happened since that heartbreak. This could be anything, you guys. This doesn't have to, this could be a romantic situation. This could be a business situation. This actually, now that I'm mentioning, mentioning it, there could be, this could, this could very well be family. This very well could be a family situation in which maybe it was a, maybe you, there was a, a, a narcissistic parent, uh, specifically maybe a father or maybe just the masculine parent whether it's a man or a woman it doesn't matter um someone that was just very stern very strong but very sure of themselves very overconfident um uh, very taking uh, took very t very much took a lot and never really gave back never really felt like they needed to give back because of this sense of arrogance or pride or or narcissism um there could have been a lot of gaslighting involved um what i'm getting with this and this is really this is really an unconventional way of, of understanding this, but I feel like someone is giving up some sort of sense of egoic prowess in order for a sense of greater stability with the Four of Pentacles. There is a level that of wisdom that's coming from this Four of Pentacles here. And, and, and a lot of it is symbolic in the, 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 the elder man that's standing there, right? Or it's not standing there, that's sitting there. It's like someone has traded some sort of fun loving, which is the, the, the fun loving aspect of this King of Wands is not bad, but it's the ego trip that that fun loving energy used to be on all the time. It was like they were so caught up in their own pleasure and their own games that they took advantage of a lot of people and maybe hurt a lot of people it was it was a very immature energy but now and it could very well be it could very well be this energy here with the five of swords and the five of cups some sort of self-defeating energy with the five of swords some sort of tomfoolery or fuckery or whatnot whatever that caused someone to leave the battlefield it caused someone to just be like you know what i'm i'm not dealing with this i'm done with this and the heartbreak that ensued from that, coupled with the Five of Cups, it very well could have been this. And it may be, it, maybe it was like the whole situation. You know what I mean? It was everything involved, like everything that, everything that was in that situation, everything that led up to that situation, and then ultimately how that situation finally ended. It caused someone to take a step back and be like, whoa, what am I doing?
Four of Swords, especially with the side of the Four of Swords where there's a fire burning in the background. And someone is kind of like, and this old man here is kind of, it almost, he, I kind of get the feeling that he's a little ashamed, maybe of himself, maybe of the circumstances. Um, and it was just kind of, maybe kind of like, kind of a tail between your legs energy, kind of like slinking away into the shadows with your tail between your legs while you watch these fires burn everything in sight, everything that maybe you had worked to build, um, everything that you had created, what not, whatever, but ultimately understand. And I do think you understand this at this point for whomever this is, but whatever burned down was absolutely necessary to be removed from your environment, from the situation, what not, whatever. There is definitely a sense of wisdom that I'm getting with this four of pentacles here. Now with the overall energy being the five of pentacles and the seven of swords, what I get right now is there is a little bit of a lack of confidence here. Okay, and that's kind of what I was getting with the King of Wands in reverse. Uh, in reverse. Um, and that's also kind of what was coming out in the pre-shuffle. We did have the Emperor, which was with the Nine of Swords. Underneath the Nine of Swords was the Queen of, was the Empress. Um, I don't remember what was on the other side of the deck now, but uh, in the pre-shuffle. But okay, so Five of Pentacles, someone... So right now... As it stands, there is an energy where someone here feels inadequate. Someone here doesn't feel like they'll be enough, doesn't feel like they are enough. There's some sort of fear, there's some sort of apprehension. What I do want to say with this overall energy, especially with the Seven of Swords being on the other side, you're deceiving yourself. You're stealing from yourself. You're lying to yourself. You're cheating yourself. And especially if you feel like if you're in this energy here and you feel like you're all alone, like you have no one to help you, you have no one to talk to, that absolutely absolutely is deceitful. You're deceiving yourself. You're lying to yourself about that because you always have spirit at your side that is willing to help you, that wants to help you. You just have to ask for the help. So if in this energy, in this moment, you really sink, and I know I've been feeling this too. I mean, I, I have some things that are coming up this week. One in particular that is scaring the absolute bejesus out of me um and as it's been coming closer I, I i explained this to you guys last week but as it's been coming closer in you know getting closer to the actual day of this event um these fears have just been coming up non-stop and it's just like i've been working really hard to battle them and one of the things that i have i have that has helped me the most is praying for help so when i really get into those moments where my anxiety is through the roof and my mind just won't shut up with all of the worst case scenarios and blah 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 i literally sit down and say god please help me just please help me with please help me clear away these thoughts please help me get out of these fears please help me raise my vibration please help me um change my thought patterns and and be in a better place i mean however you want to describe it however you want to pray for it, please, please, please ask for help, especially with this side of the five of pentacles, where this guy is outside in the cold, leaving, basically leaving, he's outside in the cold, um, um, where, you know, begging for whatever food, shelter, whatnot, but the church is literally right behind him. All he has to do is turn around and go inside and he will be out of the cold. He will be in warmth. He could, he could get some water. He could probably get some food, you know, like there is help there for you and if that means you know if you are if you do practice you know some of the common uh, the, some of the, re the religions or whatnot absolutely rely on your faith absolutely go speak to a priest speak to your pastor speak to uh, your rabbi uh, your 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 shaman your whomever just there is help out there for you you are not in this alone what is under the five of pentacles the ten of wands you see you are trying to do this all by yourself. You don't have to carry this burden alone. Ask for help. And that could be absolutely in a physical way. Sorry, my nose is itching. Maybe, okay, so maybe, you know, you're trying to start a business. You, you know, you're working on something like that and you're trying to take it all on by yourself you don't need to do that it is absolutely not necessary for you to just oh shoot i forgot my clarifying decks i'm gonna get them while i talk to you but it's not necessary to do all of that by yourself okay um 
ask for help. That's the point here, guys. Yeah, you got to ask for help, okay? All right, so clarifiers, clarifiers. Where's my golden? Okay. <sighs> Y'all got a glimpse into my closet there and all my graphic hoodies and tees and whatnot. <laughs> so we're going to get into the clarifying section now. Um, yeah, so I have the Light Seers. So I love this deck. This is such a great deck. I've been using it, you know, for a week, a week now. It's really beautiful. If any of you are interested, it's called the Light Seers Tarot. It's a beautiful deck. I love the imagery on it. And then, of course, I'm going to get out my Golden Universal Tarot, just in case there are any messages from there, from Spirit. All right, guys. Normally, I have all this set up, but this morning, I just, I just totally, oops, I just totally forgot. Just totally for, oh my god, oh my god, everything is going everywhere. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So... Now, let's get into some clarification here. So what I do want to clarify first is the King of Wands in reverse and the Four of Pentacles upright. So we're going to we're going to start there. All right. Confidence. Confidence is what I want to say here. You know, part of this, to be quite honest, part of this feels like um, a little bit of reassurance. I almost, I want to reassure some of you that where if you're feeling a lack of confidence right now, you need to know that you do have a solid foundation here. Whatever it is that's been, that you've been through especially with this five of swords five of cups energy i mean it's created a really solid foundation i, I damn near i want to say it's even humbled you quite a bit quite adequate adequately enough to really be able to move forward with whatever it is you're facing now let's see judgment you see oh my god overcoming obstacles oh my god wow the empress with something else here and the four of wands look Guys, overall energy is what? The Ace of Wands. Okay, look, you got it going on, okay? You've got the inspiration. You're moving forward. You've really, like I said, you've really risen above. You've really changed. This has really helped you. Whatever it is that you've been through here, you don't have to fear a lack of confidence. Um, you know, there is abundance here with the Empress and the Four of Wands, okay? Okay abundance nurturance unconditional love and if this is a question of maybe a soulmate twin flame counterpart i.e the divine feminine here with the with the empress you have the skills you have the spiritual foundation you have the wherewithal you've got it you've this you've you've gotten to an adequate space okay the four of wands is an energy of um celebrating your achievements so far it's also an energy of not necessarily resting on your laurels because you know there is still work to be done but the way i like to describe the four of wands and is this way and many of you that have been following me for a long time you've heard me say this plenty of times but i see the energy of the four of wands as say you're building a house you have to lay the foundation first and depending on you know the type of foundation you lay, like say it's a cement foundation, you have to let it settle. You have Well, first you have to let the cement dry, but then you have to let it settle for a few months before you can really start building on the building on that foundation because the ground beneath it is going to shift, you know, as time goes on. So you want to give that a little bit of time before you then start putting up the walls and putting in the floors and putting in the appliances and all, you know what I mean? And, 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 and all that, and the plumbing and the electric and, and all of that stuff. Right. But here it feels like you're at a checkpoint where it's like, okay, you've risen above a lot of what it is that you've dealt with in the past judgment. You've come out of this, a brand new person. Um, you're, you've gone through a bit of an awakening. You're enlightened. You, you have, um, more of a broader focus, a clearer point of view even. And because of that, you're, you're, 
you're you've accessed you've tapped into the unconditional love and the abundance that the universe has to offer so there really is no need to fear moving forward there really is no need to feel a lack of confidence i i feel like your lack of confidence here is coming from past circumstances and you may be approaching a situation in which now you're really ready to re um revisit something um maybe you're about to like reconnect with someone that you haven't connected with in a long time and things were kind of not so good between the two of you the last time you saw each other or whatnot whatever but things have changed you have changed they have changed things are going to be very different now so so believe in yourself have no fear this is good this is really good energy um okay so now i want to look a little bit into this five of cups five of swords but with the four of swords i really feel like someone has learned a really valuable lesson here and if we're talking twin flames or counterparts this is both of you i really feel like both of you have really learned a very valuable lesson and you've gone through a really strong transformation okay let me give this one more shuffle Let's see what this is. Five of Swords, Five of Cups, but with the Four of Swords here. The Hierophant. There you go. I told you, you learned a really valuable lesson here. A lesson that has really helped you ascend. The Queen of Wands. Ooh. The Three of Wands. The Queen of Swords. Okay. All right. Overall energy is death and rebirth. Uh, transformation transformation with the six of wands good lord i mean yes first of all what you need to what and i've been saying this over and over and over i'm going to keep saying it because it's relevant everything that you have been through in terms of this situation, Five of Swords, Five of Cups, and the Four of Swords, everything that you've been through was necessary, okay? Was a part of the path, Three of Wands. And it absolutely has taught you some super, super valuable lessons that have allowed you to walk up this staircase of ascension. It's allowed you to gain some sort of higher wisdom. I, I mean, I just, I can't say this enough. You needed to experience all of that shit. You needed to experience the five of swords energy and then the loss that came from that from 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 tangling with that five of swords energy, the death that came from that five of swords energy, but also you needed that so you could experience the rebirth here, which is what this rose or this at least red flower behind this gentleman on the five of cups represents. And here you have death at the bottom of the deck. In this deck, they call it death and rebirth. I love that because that is literally what it is. Something dies out in order for something new to take its place, in order to be reborn anew. Please, please, please understand that everything that you've been through, you've learned from. Four of Swords. You needed to go through this. I can't, I don't, someone really needs to understand that and I can't stress it enough. You have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Swords here. All right, so this is feminine energy, obviously, sure, but... I really feel like what this is saying here, regardless of your gender and actually even regardless of, you know, where you fall energetically, whether you're more dominantly masculine or dominantly feminine, um, this really is kind of for everybody. There is an energy of getting yourself into alignment, okay, and being very discerning. Not only being in that alignment to bring what it is you need towards you, but to remain discerning enough to keep yourself in that alignment so that you can continue to bring these blessings in. The Queen of Swords is giving me a very calm, uh, stoic energy. She's not so, at least, and maybe it's just the way that she's she's illustrated in this deck. She feels, she just seems much calmer 
than maybe some of the other queen of swords but at least and if it's not that overall then it's just this in this circumstance i'm getting a very calm cool and collected energy from this queen of swords a very wise energy because it's like no okay i've seen quite a bit i've seen quite a bit and maybe it is the fact that you're starting to understand that everything that you've been through was absolutely necessary okay but it's this it's this calm stoicism that i'm getting from the queen of swords that is helping to actually fuel the fires of the queen of wands oxygen fuels fire you guys so so these two really do complement each other very very well but because they're in such a balanced state it's like yes you're still fiery you're still passionate but you have aligned yourself with that which is for your highest good um the best possible outcome it's not like you're being fiery and passionate just to be fiery and passionate or you're being like a wild child a rebel like a partier blah blah, blah. no this is a very mature energy very mature energy that i'm feeling from this this is great you guys this is great and i'm glad that this turned out the way that it did because it was quite troubling in the beginning however you don't need to be troubled now. This this is this is a very very good energy, okay? Very good. Very balanced, very whole, very healthy, mature, yet still playful. I mean, just because you're mature doesn't mean you don't have fun. I mean, come on. <laughs> mm. Okay. So what I want to do now is I want to get um some final messages from spirit here for you. And then we'll get your oracle guidance. Okay, spirit. Um, your final guidance advice. I want to pull advice specifically. Moving forward from this point forward, what advice do you have for us in terms of this situation, please, spirit? Last shuffle. Oh shit, yes. Ooh. Okay, overall energy is the Page of Wands. So there is a message. There's definitely a message that wants to be conveyed, that needs to be shared here. Um, I'm also getting an energy of um, self-discovery, realigning yourself. Seven of Swords, that's an interesting energy. We have the Two of Cups, we have the Queen of Wands, and we have the Knight of Wands. And then we also have the Chariot. I'm really interested to, to understand what this Seven of Swords here is. I just feel like the advice here is, okay, 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 okay. The advice here is spirit is saying not to hold back, not to keep things in the shadows anymore, not to be, not to deceive yourself anymore. Okay. If you need help, then ask us for it. The seven of swords is more of a warning to yourself to say, be real with yourself be honest with yourself don't try to get away with anything don't try to sneak through something don't try to 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 cut corners you've come way too far you've come way too far you've accomplished way too much and you've done too much hard work to allow yourself to cut corners now okay because look at here you have the two of cups the queen of wands the knight of wands and the chariot you have something coming. What I'm getting with this Queen of Wands energy is the queen to your king, first of all. Okay, we have the king in the beginning. And now we have the Queen of Wands. What I'm hearing, what I'm feeling with this is the queen is your the queen to your king is on your side, wants to sit at your table, wants to be with you, wants to be around you. All you have to do is move forward confidently with what it is you know that you want. Okay? We have the chariot here. So really what this is saying is just move forward. Do it. Just do it. Just go for it. Mm. 
move i mean if you want to ride in passionately ride in passionately i mean the knight of wands is giving me a um activation an activate that i do feel like the, the knight of wands is like an activation for sure page of wands is let me look at all this you have wands cups and major arcana with that sword there okay but the swords can fuel the fire but you got to be honest and open about it do not let deception get in the way do not let do not allow yourself to be deceitful especially to your own self i mean yes don't be deceitful with others especially if you're trying to connect with someone but the most important thing for you to do is to not be deceitful with yourself okay all right let's get your oracle guidance to close this out today we're gonna go with the earth warriors Okay, one last shuffle for today. What's our oracle guidance here, please, spirit? There we have it. And it is card number 36, Mayu. Soma of the Soma from the Galactic Heart. Card number 36. Hey, oh my god, and look, it's 36 minutes. Holy moly, we're 36 minutes into the reading and we got card number 36. That's pretty awesome. I'm a 36. My life like my life path number is a 36, which boils down to a nine. That's really cool. Um, but this is card number 36, which boils down to a nine, which is a card, of, which is a number of endings. Okay. And this says Mayu Soma from the Galactic Heart. So let's read this and see what we have. Okay. The Divine Mother's milk of the galaxy is feeding your soul. Expansion of your horizons, your spiritual purpose, and your sacred responsibilities is taking place. Divine potential within you is awakening at a higher turn of the creative spiral of consciousness. This oracle is prophecy of ascension and grace. In a reading, this says, Your soul has been going through a deep spiritual feeding process and is growing rapidly. The evidence of this in the outer world will be a sense of expansion of opportunity, reach, connections, and new levels of spiritual experiences. This oracle foretells the welcoming in of a new phase in life. Newborn energies and fertility, whether biological, creative, or psychological, are being stimulated. The oracle indicates the discovery, development, and expression of talents. An increasingly public profile, which moves you into the spotlight, can help you fulfill your divine life mission, provided that you keep your inner connection to spirit as the highest priority. This oracle speaks of soul healing around matters of trust, spirit, mother, and abundance. You know, I do think... I want to read some of this. I want to read this one here. When we connect with the galactic heart, it is a sign of spiritual advancement. We are growing in such a way that our body, that our being becomes ready, willing, and able to take up more spiritual space in the atmosphere. You will express that spiritual growth in your life according to your talents. If you are a thinker, your ideals will become your ideas would become more inspired, expansive, and original. If you are a healer, you will experience the flow of a new quality of divine consciousness through your work. If you are a leader, you will experience a feeling of being overshadowed by something truly great, kind, and helpful, whilst at the same time feeling more fearless, bold, and confident to speak your truth and guide those in your care. 
Whatever the truth of your soul, encounters with the galactic heart are granted in order to evoke, expand, and empower it upon the earth. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Um, be confident in yourselves, guys. You've come a long way. And whatever it is, that, whatever it is you feel or you know is the next step for you, take that with your head held high and don't worry about it. But if you feel like you need help, then pray for help. Ask God, source, creator, the angels, your ancestors, your spirit guides, your spirit animals, your animal totems. Your um, You could even ask for, you know, it, it, um, lean on your faith, speak to your pastor, speak to your priest, speak to your rabbi, your shaman, your, 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 your local healer, your Reiki healer, your acupuncturist, your therapist, your whatever, your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your aunt, your uncle, you, you get what I'm saying? Don't leave your, don't allow yourself to stay out in the cold. If you need the help, just ask. Yes? Okay. With that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.